<laughs> the time has come. Let's do it. We're gonna install the new grill. Welcome to the vlog guys again match here as always thanks so much for watching if you missed my last two videos so I got the new grill for my Chevy Colorado and today we're gonna install it it's always trick with those kind of like installation videos because that can take so long people normally they don't want videos longer than 10 minutes I know because I don't so I'm gonna try to do my best to make this as quick as possible but hang in there I'll do my best to explain to you guys the best way I can so if you want to do it with yours you can take this as a tutorial right but remember I'm trying for the first time so first thing I need to do to move the truck to this side of the garage you are hearing my dog as you guys know I live in Jersey it's super cold today you see we got snow last night I'll try to make the garage as warm as possible it's gonna be hard Now the truck is in, we're gonna open the box and we're gonna see. I got the box two days ago, so I didn't open because I wanna save for the video so I can share with you guys. It's freaking cold. All right. So, there is no instruction. Who needs those, right? There we go. There's no instruction. Instructions for the installation of this part are available through GM service information with the accessories manual. So, we good. I hope we good. I hope. There we go. Pawn. Pa. Poo. Yeah, baby. Yeah, here's the part. It's very light. I really, I really like the black. It's it's black as well, but it's just like different things you need to we need to do We need to remove the bar light. Yeah, I know I know trust me if you are sad me too But I'm gonna skip that part because there are two bolts behind the light bar those bolts they go here It's behind the bar light so I have to do you have to do what you have to do, right? So let's get that done All right, the bar lights out. Those are the bolts. Oh, let me see if I can see. I don't know if we're gonna be able to see it. Yeah, those are the bolts that I'm talking about. See, one, two. So you have to remove those. You have to remove here. I'm quite sure you ha we have to lose that part of the bumper, but we're gonna get in there. Let's do step by step. Two, four, six, remove the six bolt and it should be good to go. If I'm not mistaken, last time was a pain to remove those because I, I don't have the right two and that's my fault, that, that's on me. I will buy, I promise you guys, I will buy one, I promise. One down, one more to go. There we go, two. So two bolts there, six here. Uh, as you can see, it's not loose yet because it's attached in here behind the bumper. And how I know it, you see here in the new one, it's kind of flush and you have those uh, clips. I'll, I'll call clips in here, see, in, the, in those two sides. And I believe that those clips are go behind here. I think what I have to do, I have to unbolt something behind the liners. That should help. So I will try. Let's give it a shot. The thing is, guys, I don't want to remove the entire bumper because there are like four bolts on the bottom. They are really hard to remove it. And I'm quite sure I can do this without removing the entire bumper. Let's try. This is the passenger side. There are two... Let me see if I can hold my flashlight. Uh, there are two bolts there. See those two? If I remove it, uh, you see those clips? If I push down and to the side, the bumper should move a little bit and that should be enough to give me space 
to get to those clips that I show you, all right? So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna remove those two from here, from the passenger side, and the two from the driver's side. So, and then I'll let you guys know. I don't, I'm not gonna show you that to you guys, because it's just removing bolts, all right? One little thing, there are three bolts here, all right? One, two, three, not two. So scratch what I said, just go with t with three, and that's it. I I loosed the bumper a little bit. Now I should be able to see that space here should be enough to remove that that the uh, the grill. So I'll put it guys in the in the tripod. I'll try to remove it. try it without removing the bumper but as you guys saw I was afraid to break the the stock grow because I want to keep it so I removed the entire bumper and now let's see let's see if it's gonna work so the only the only thing I did differently there's there are two bolts on the bottom I removed those so the bumper should come out so I, I remove enough to have access to those clips here you see uh, those things are holding the grill so if you look here this one I, I already remove it see see there we go see so you have to remove all those and then we should be good to go so the hardest part is to remove the grill it's really attached to the bumper so just make sure you push a lot just be careful so you don't break it right as you guys can see i removed the entire bumper uh and i'm running a little bit of an issue maybe that's why i need to remove the entire bump i don't know why my grill it's super super attached to the bumper so even if I push it doesn't come out so if you are you saw I try to remove it without removing the entire bumper but you don't work so I don't want to break anything if you are running into the same issue make sure you remove the entire bumper so I will try now like and we will see one eternity later so and that's what I meant guys see this one here was giving me a hard time so if I start almost broke almost so as you guys can see i didn't break anything but thank the lord that i stopped it pushing and then i decided to remove the bumper because i would probably break those brackets or those clips or whatever they call that here's the old grill and here's the new one the bump because the bumper is off what i'm gonna do i'm gonna clean a little bit just to make sure that everything is fine and clean and then I will start putting everything uh, back again. I don't know if it was just with my 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 truck, uh, but this one was very stuck. I removed everything without removing the bumper, but I was pushing too hard. I was afraid to break this clip and even the grill. I want to keep the the old grill. So other than that, so those are the two bolts that you need to to uh, lose to remove the bumper. Uh, so. I'm gonna put put the the new grill. I will clean it and put the grill in the new grill, and then we'll see. If you have the bar light, I had to remove the bar light. It's not really a remove; it's just two bolts. But we'll see. So I clean a little bit. Nothing special here. Uh, I'm gonna try to attack the new grill. Put the back everything back on. All right, should be fun. Those clips, they go in. This is the new bump. The, this is the new grow. Those clips, they go in like butter, which is funny because that one was a pain to remove it, but this one was like butter. So you see here, it's not perfect in yet. Should be like this, not like this. But I'm gonna attach the bumper first because I don't want to kind of push the new grow, right? We're halfway through and not done yet. That fits really well. I still need to push that side. But just want to show you guys like halfway through it. How does that look like? So far so good. Lo, let me finish the other side. Damn! What do you guys think? Huh? Wow, that looks so nice. 
I really dig to the fit, man. As you guys can see here, uh, I still finish, guys. Don't, you know, don't get too crazy yet. Uh, but look, everything should fit perfect. Uh, see? Uh, that gave me a hard time, but I think it was was totally worth to remove the front bumper because I just don't want to break anything, you know what I'm saying? And I still I saved the the old grill. So yeah, that looks so 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 good. Look at that! It looks so good. So let me finish. I will put everything together. Let's see with the light bar how it's gonna look like. All right. I found a way, I found a way. <laughs> like a glove. I'm so excited. Look at that. Look at that thing, dude. Oh my god. That changed completely the entire truck. Look at that. Oh, I apologize. My truck's super dirty, but so as I said, we guys know, so it's not that bad. Look at that. Whoa. Woo. I'm excited. I was super afraid to do this, but I'm telling you. This is nice. This is nice. Oh my gosh. So I'm thinking about to change the stripes for black. I think it's gonna look better though. Leave your comment below. Let me know. Let me know what you guys think. Should the stripes be black or should I keep the red? I think that the black is gonna look nice with the grill. That's it boys. We did it! We did it! If you didn't watch how much I paid, I will link the, the video here so you can go and see where I got from. I know a lot of people is gonna ask me for. Overall, it was an easy installation, so I just had a problem with my old grill. It was attached, I, I didn't want to damage anything. That's why I choose to pull the entire bumper off, but you don't need to do, I think if you lose those two bolts that I show you, three bolts that I show you, if you lose those three bolts that I show you, you should be able to. If you don't want to damage your grill, make sure you remove the entire bump. So that's it guys, let me know what you think, let me know what you, you know your thoughts. I really like it. I, to be honest, I should have done that before, but it's not cheap uh, modification, but I uh, man, <laughs> that changed the entire truck, dude. Oh my God, with the bar light, looks incredible. So let me turn it on the other lights. There we go. Yeah, let me know what you guys think. We should do more stuff to this though. I love doing modifications, I really do. I hope you guys enjoy it. If you are here for the first time, give me a thumbs up. I have a challenge. I'm, I'm trying to reach a thousand subscribers and if I do reach the 1,000 subscribers, I'm gonna buy the lift kit. If you're here for the first time and you wanna help me, subscribe. So once I hit 1,000 subscribers, I will buy my lift kit. I'm not sure about the wheels yet, but the lift kit is gonna be the first thing. So if I hit 1,000 subscribers, I will try to do a live and we're gonna buy together. So make sure to subscribe. Make sure to follow me on Instagram. I'm gonna do a live right now. So if you're not following me on Instagram, you probably missed this, this one, but the next one you can watch. It. so make sure I leave here my Instagram and as always guys thank you so much for watching I really appreciate your help and your comments so and don't forget joy holidays enjoy your life